Hi guys, welcome back to The Shannon Show. Hello if you're new. So today's video is going to be a review of Lovebirds, which will be dropping on Netflix on May the 22nd. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts on my commentary. I'm always up for a chat, I'm always up for a debate. And if you like this video, give it a like. And if you didn't, give it a dislike. No hard feelings. So let's get into the review. Right off the bat, I was excited to see this film because Easter Ray and Easter Ray only. I'm always rooting for everything Easter Ray. She's a role model of mine and I love what she's doing in the film and TV industry. Obviously her co-lead is Kumal Nargiani, which I believe is the pronunciation, but connect me, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. He's quite a big name. I know he's making his way into the action film circuit, but I haven't actually watched anything from him i believe but from the trailer it seemed like it was going to be a solid comic relief rom-com in terms of the plot of course it's a rom-com but it also looked like it was going to have elements of a murder mystery as well as the plot is about because it's about this couple that involuntarily get dragged into this murder and they decide they have to solve this murder to exonerate themselves and it all kind of unfolds within one night so it's one of those one night type of movies, which I thought was quite interesting and which I thought could make for a funnier storyline than your usual rom-coms. And I think what most people are going to be wondering is whether this film is funny. Now, I think it's definitely going to be a mixed bag, in my opinion. It has a very distinct type of comedy, which some people might appreciate or some people might find a bit lacklustre. In my opinion, I think it was a bit simple. It kind of dabbles within playful sarcasm and elementary level comedy. So there's a lot of, you're stupid, no, you're stupid. That kind of comedy we see throughout. For me personally, it wasn't a laugh fest for me. I think a lot of the jokes didn't necessarily land. And I think there could be a significant amount of people that don't necessarily find this funny. There was a few laughs here and there but the laughs were significantly less than I was expecting. So in terms of the narrative, the whole murder mystery plot, I think it was quite simple. I was hoping for something a bit more structured and creative. The narrative was a bit random in my opinion. It didn't really seem like it had a clear structure. There was a lot of thinking that you had to do in terms of why are we here? Why is that significant? Some things don't really make sense. It's pretty generic, you know what's going to happen, which is the case for most rom-coms, but you still expect some sort of journey, which I feel this film was lacking. And there was a lack of suspense as well, considering this is meant to be a murder mystery element. There was literally no suspense whatsoever. You kind of saw everything coming 10 minutes before it was coming. Overall, the writing was pretty simple, in my opinion, and very dialogue heavy. I think there was way too much dialogue going on in this comedy. Sometimes it kind of felt like I was watching a video to play because there was just so much. And I don't really think it was necessary, especially considering there wasn't really many punchy jokes in the narrative. It kind of just felt like a normal conversation between two people. So I think they definitely could cut the dialogue down, I think, in my opinion. And the dialogue as well, obviously it's a comedy, so you, ex you can expect comedy dialogue, but some of the dialogue was just, didn't really sound realistic, even in a comedy setting. In terms of the cast, of course, Kamal and Issa, I think they did a decent job considering the material that they had to work with, because the script wasn't the best script, in my opinion. They did, okay but it wasn't enough to sell their characters to me and the direction seemed a little bit lazy in my opinion as well. Issa she's a comedy powerhouse and you know she peaks at some moments but again the script is just too weak for even Issa to work with. They had this villain who was just this really bad villain, he was not scary. Whenever you saw him on screen you didn't really get that feeling in your you didn't really get that feeling where you were like, oh my gosh, it's that villain, we should be scared, we should be shook, or I hate that guy. Just didn't feel anything for him, to be honest. So again, poor direction there. In terms of the chemistry between her and Kamal, I thought maybe it had potential at the beginning, but by the end of it, I don't think there was chemistry between them personally. And in terms of their relationship, I couldn't really invest in it throughout the film. Their relationship goes through so many ups and downs and they tease these like moments between them and in those moments i was just like 
you know what, I really want to love you guys as a couple, but I just don't feel anything for you. Um, and the film tries its best to try and bait us into standing them as a couple. But again, the script doesn't really offer anything. The direction doesn't really offer anything. So I feel like they did the best that they could with what was with the resources available for them. In terms of production and everything, I think the production was pretty solid. I think the score and the soundtrack was pretty solid, to be honest. Um, it actually did look really nice. There was a few shots in there where I was like, okay, this actually looks pretty nice. There's one shot where they end up at this secret society and something goes down and it's shot really well. It looks beautiful um, and it sounds fine. But like I said, unfortunately, other elements have let the film down. So would I recommend watching this film? I think it's definitely a particular type of film. It is an unserious film. I call these type of films sleepover films. It's something that you put on in the background when you don't really want to watch anything serious. But I was a little bit underwhelmed. I was a little bit disappointed. I wouldn't say the film is bad, but it is very lacklustre in my opinion, considering who is in the cast. I personally wouldn't prioritise this film, but if you are going to watch it, you need to prepare yourself that this is going to be an unserious film maybe background noise it in my opinion there was a lack of engagement there for me and at times i found it boring and like i said there was low investment for me in terms of the story or the romance so i think taking everything into account i'm gonna have to give it a two out of five because i don't think this film really offers anything it's meant to be a rom-com it's not that funny in my opinion it's meant to be a murder mystery. The murder mystery was written very poorly, in my opinion. Even though I love Issa Rae, I'm sure there's going to be other amazing fil films with her in it. I'm gonna have to give it a two out of five if I'm being completely honest and transparent with you guys. I just cannot justify giving it anything above a two. But yeah, if you haven't watched it yet, I'd be interested to hear if this is something that you are or were looking to watch, regardless of what anyone says. I think because Issa Rae has a fan base, people are going to go watch this film. But I'm, I'm telling you already, you're going to be disappointed, I think. Um, <laughs> but if you have watched it, do let me know what you thought of it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you just think it was okay? Or did you think it was bad? And what would you rate it out of five? Of course, let me know what you thought of my review. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have, don't forget to press that notification bell. I'm trying to get to 1.3 subscribers and I would appreciate everybody who helps me reach my short-term goal. Till next time guys, bye!